So it's been right now a really few moments and you have just really started to learn the web development and you have been getting your hands dirty in the HTML and the CSS and you just right now wonder you just tend to discover something called a CSS preprocessor or the SAS or the less in a better way and you really kind of tend to just really mesmerize that it will really help you to increase your productivity and increase your workflow the work efficiency uh, is it really that true let's find it out hey guys my name is Rahul Aira and I'm from Pune so in this video we are really going to uh, debunk the truth whether uh, CSS preprocessor are really useful or not uh, now mind it very clearly this is my opinion about SAS and what I really think it not really uh, clearly valid to everyone out there your opinion might be different my opinion is quite different from it and if you really find something really uh, objectionably intentful please really comment down it below uh, maybe we can exchange our own thoughts and kind of things so let's begin so what is CSS preprocessor so and to understand the CSS preprocessor we need to go to the CSS right uh, so CSS is just like a language which really helps you to design and format things of the HTML element so without the HT, without the CSS the website just look like this and just adding with the CSS it gives up the thing like this so CSS is pretty powerful right now but as you really kind of really uh, tend to make a bigger and bigger projects you really start to realize that you are uh, you might be tending to use some of the uh, elements repetitively in cons repetitively in one or two or three in the exact paragraph and there is a concept call of dry don't repeat yourself and the SAS was basically exactly based on that principle right so exactly what SAS is really does is it's a preprocessor right now uh, what it really actually means is like it really helps you to write less CSS code uh, and then you have to process it by a compiler and then it really helps you to come and then it really actually generates the original CSS file that your browser can actually read it out so what is SAS? That is really question thing, right? SAS has really a bunch of cool feature that CSS won't even right now. Number one, it has the power of variable. Right now, you can just over this screen. It has the nesting, and it has also the mixins and all that kind of stuff. But how helpful it is to you, right? Considering that this uh, SAS was based on the principle of don't repeat yourself, and and many of the YouTube videos that I have actually watched is they really tend to uh, say that SAS can really help you to ease your workflow by allowing yourself to follow the dry principle but is it really that true or are we really doing that thing uh, let's check for the first example of uh, variables right so here it is so what variable is actually doing right so we really are just declaring a color and or a style or something in a function and then we can declare it in a way now here you can see the example of it right uh, the CSS as compared to the SAS thing the CSS bit looks much more cleaner now just look at the nesting thing right and here you can actually uh, look at the things right the nesting is actually like you can really use a child element inside the whole parent elemental thing but you can really use it in a, in a normal way in a, also in the CSS thing so right now in the CSS you can just look like you can use the uh, UI element inside the nav li element inside the nav and a inside the nav right on the other hand you write uh, you tend to write a different paragraph for each sections in normal css file but the question and the next thing let's talk about it is like 
mixins now mixins is just like uh, declaring the variable uh, yeah the kind of thing so the question is is sas really useful number one if you are really using the old version of notepad then <coughs> i'm sorry i can't do nothing for about you but if you really tend to use a normal vs code editor and really using the auto complete feature which is really so common man come on uh, then you don't really need to use the sas it's because even if even if you do tend to use the sas you will actually write just 25% less code in as compared to the original css file and the perception of writing the dry principle the perception of following the dry principle in the sas is kind of really illusionating thing uh, in my opinion the sas really gives you a false opinion opinionated uh, view about writing the less code but actually when you re do really compare the sas code and the original css code you actually tend up to write the same amount of code and moreover the if you are really a fresh uh, css uh, developer i mean you have just really learned css really fl freshly then you might have a uh, you might tend to really get fewer difficulties in and in understanding the sas it's like and there is a really tedious compilation process uh, uh, we really have to arrange the thing in various format and there is really a bunch of other uh, sas practices that even i really don't know right now because i'm not interested and and for me the css works much fine and it's much more easy we don't really have to get into the compilation thing and all that kind of stuff it's straight away run and just runs it um yeah you can also uh, there are also the live previewer and live compiler for the uh, sas as well but i think you don't really need it when just if it runs straight away in the browser then why would you the sas is really equivalent to the templating languages like pug and jade uh some people really love it some people hate it some people like the handlebars uh some people like the ejs thing it's a rendering language of the server side and it's fine it's about all your own opinion so ultimately what i want to say is that it's up to you whether do you want to really learn sas or not uh it's not compulsory whether you have to really definitely learn the sas uh it is helpful but not that incrementally that you will actually uh maybe appreciate it to really that extent some people do some people won't and it's completely fine this video was just about to give an awareness about uh css to be an to be an equivalent as sas so I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe this channel and share this video on every other platform. And till then, see you next time and have a good day.